One week ago, the Moravian College football team won its first game of the season. Now they're officially on a winning streak after defeating the Gettysburg College Bullets 41-21 on Saturday at Rocco Calvo Field. Another win and another historic day for the Greyhound offense. Moravian rushed for 424 yards against the Bullets. The last time the Greyhounds ran for over 400 yards in a game was in 2003, and their 508 yards of total offense was the highest total since 2008. The Bullets shot out to a 7-0 lead on a touchdown pass on their very first play from scrimmage, and the Greyhounds would have to play from behind. In the first quarter, senior Reese Judge fields a Gettysburg punt, picks up a block, and tiptoes his way down the sideline for a 34-yard return, setting up the Greyhounds' first scoring drive. Moravian plays their hot hand as freshman running back Chris Negron cuts his way through the Bullets for 9 yards and scores his 6th touchdown of the season. Negron finished the day with a career-high 251 yards, the 4th best rushing game in Moravian history. Now with 869 yards, he became the Greyhounds all-time leading freshman runner, breaking Tim Barlock's record of 665. The Hounds would take the lead for good in the second quarter on a keeper by senior quarterback Robbie Moyer, who runs 34 yards and dives for the pylon in a Centennial Conference Play of the Week nominee. The signal caller broke a conference record with his fifth 100-yard rushing game of the season. Moyer extends the lead before halftime with a four-yard touchdown pass to Jalen Snyder Scipio, who hauled in his fourth TD catch of the year. The Bullets are driving late in the first half, but senior defensive lineman Frank Corbett pushes them back 10 yards with a sack, and Gettysburg ends up missing the field goal. Moravian opens the second half with an eight-play, 53-yard drive, capped off by Moyer's second rushing score of the day. Later in the third, a fake punt on fourth and one is sniffed out by Jameel Poole, who makes the tackle, setting up another Moravian scoring drive. With the defense keyed in on Moyer, the quarterback hands off the freshman running back Chris Crosby for two yards in pay dirt for the 34-14 lead. Sophomore Anthony Orlando creeps in on the right side and hello quarterback, Orlando gets the sack. Gettysburg gets as close as 34-21, but Negron has the final say. The rookie rusher goes up the middle for 18 yards and his seventh touchdown of the season to finish the scoring. The defense wasn't finished, however, as freshman John Snyder barrels in for the sack. With only one minute remaining, Snyder and junior Dan Bracken get to the quarterback again on fourth down, allowing Moravian to set up in victory formation. We talk about all the time with the kids during those first six weeks of the season and talking about there was little leaks in the dam, so to speak. And we were just waiting for the whole thing to come crashing down. And we just took week after week of just building on some of the good things we did, correcting some of the, the fundamentally bad things that were going on. And then it all came together in that F&M game. The guys practiced with a lot of confidence. Last week, uh, you know, we came out and, uh, you know, let a quick score. That didn't phase us at all. They stayed very focused on the task at hand, and we just kept building momentum throughout the whole game. So certainly it's, it was a, you know, a great job by the kids again on Saturday. It's just a great feeling. Coming from the first six losses, we all we, every game we were – kind of in the mix, so we're every, we kind of knew what we had as a team, and it's just a good feeling to put it all together and see the result on the scoreboard. The sack is just a good good call at the time. They had known, I came off right at the edge, and they had known to block me in. It was play action, so it gave me like, an extra amount of time to get the quarterback, and before you knew it, I was there. We moved Anthony down to the nickel linebacker position, and that seems to be, you know, great position for him he has a great comfort level there um, it's something that he did in the past that you know it's previous school so you know it's great to see now him really working out that position so uh, you know we probably put him there a couple weeks too late uh, but he's certainly making the most of it he really has a high football IQ I mean he understands what's going on out there and he can play that chess match so to speak in terms of putting himself in the position for success based on a formation based on a tendency of someone and doing that and he is a very physical football player and we saw that on Saturday Again, 2006 was, was a little frustrating at times, but to see our offense just go out there and kind of drive and score on a whim, it just gives not only them confidence, but the defense confidence as well to be able to make a stop and like, all right, our offense can go out there and score now. We saw him coming along, and now he just really has that hot hand. His vision is great. Uh, you know, he's, he's breaking through that first tackle. He's getting a lot of yards after the first hit, uh, and that's something you need in a running back. And, uh, and then when he's out in the open field, he's explosive. Um, so right now he's, he's hitting his stride, and it looks great. And, uh, you know, the team's really feeding off of him and Robbie. 
you know, Chris's name is certainly get out there. There's no question, and uh, and well deserved because uh, he's been hard at work, uh, you know, in practice and doing some things. So it's great for Chris. It's great for the whole offense. I think the offensive line did a phenomenal job on Saturday. I think Chris, Robbie, you know, even the wide receivers will say that. You know, those those five guys are playing very well right now. They're able to communicate very well uh, to Tim McGorry and, and Jamie Pagliaro and Chris Leavenworth on the sidelines and, and talk to them about things. So really this offense is, is coming into itself right now, and it's great to see all this hard work paying off for them. The Greyhounds celebrate Senior Day in their final home contest of 2013 against Junietta College on Saturday at Rocco Calvo Field.